everybody, welcome to the Mike and Melly One Network here on YouTube. Welcome back to the Vinny Outlaw, my career series here in NBA 2K14. This is episode 7. Last episode, Vinny got on an absolute roll. As we take a look at the schedule, he they beat the Lakers. As we take a look at the box score, yeah, 12 points in the last game. Well, the game against the... Uh, oh, I don't... I think the game against the... Pistons, I think. It was a game against the Pistons. Let's see. No, Vinny wasn't even playing in that one. I don't remember which one did he play in. Oh, it was this one. Major redemption. 13 points against the Knicks in a Buck win. And of course, guys, if it, this episode, the next couple episodes on the, on the Mike Camelli One channel will be dedicated to the memory of Zach Peters, aka the Zach Min 18 who passed away this morning. I don't know about this, guys. I'm just, I'm shocked. I'm still shocked. So now it's on to the next game as we continue on with our lives. And my thoughts and prayers go up to Zach's family. It's just, uh, Zach's, th Zach's death was completely un not was untimely. I was not prepared to see him make his untimely death. Zach died too soon. But Zach, we will miss you dearly. I love you as a brother. And I will miss you dearly. And keep a spot in heaven warm for me, brother. And, oh no. Okay, Zach, if you're gonna make this not work for me, and oh, I guess he did make it work. Thanks. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Now it's on to and don't forget the next episodes are actually gonna be because totally because they're gonna be really important. Because believe it or not, the Bucks are actually in a playoff spot. As ridiculous as it sounds, they're in the seventh seed, which means they have to play Miami again. And I'm sorry for the volume because, let's be honest, I do not want to get a content ID claim. Oh, here we go. And Jared Solinger's a member of the Heat? Really? Well, I guess after this episode, we could check and see, but knowing this thing, they'll probably. Knowing that this thing with the server issue. Yeah, it's probably going to go out once in a while. Uh, let's see if Vinny's hot streak continues here. And I'm not talking about the old game show, which I think is probably one of the most underrated game shows of all time. And right off the bat... Oh, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. And of course, good transition defense. And of course, watch this. They're probably going to take that away from them. Yep, they took it away. <laughs> easy come, easy go. No assist there. And there it is. A good shot defense there by Vinny there. And let's see, can Vinny tie this up? Nope. Because don't forget the Heat are up by two, I forgot to say it. What? Um, ref, what is this crap? Why am I getting screwed over? Yeah, I think the, I think, I swear, I think the referees don't want the Bucks to make the playoffs. I mean, really? Really, Microsoft, do you think this is not necessary to add foul language? I mean, it's not just Nintendo. Oh, now you're giving it to us. You're just going to make this more and more interesting. Great, thanks, game. Only made one, so we don't get... Oh, great job, LeBron. <laughs> And then tell him to take a seat, and now he's in at the point, which is good. Because that's the spot Vinny should be. 
And now, guys, I want to have some advice for next season. I'm probably going to post the last of the next se uh, season, season's episodes in. So what do you guys think? Should Vinny dis consider leaving Milwaukee for next season? Or do you guys think he should play out next season in Milwaukee and consider his options for a free agency? Because knowing that Milwaukee, they're probably not going to keep him around. And there's Vinny. Oh, oh, he got blocked. And once again, another turnover. There's a good shot defense. And the Bucks are up by five, which is Oh, he does draw a foul though, so now let's see can the Bucks extend this five point lead here? The first shot? No. And he's got moved to center. Really? He's the smallest guy on the team, and yet you thought it would be so necessary to move him to center. And of course he makes it. Go figure. And that's it, the Heat have a three-point deficit entering the half. So the Bucks are surprisingly getting close to pulling off a mid-season upset here. And they set up, and now the Bucks are up trailing by six. And where's, where's Vinny? Oh, he's a shooting guard again. Okay. Uh, not complaining. If it was a center, then I would be complaining. Oh, and by the way, the next episodes, I did put a memoriam ending play for Zach. In already so it's already been created you'll be seeing it at the end of this episode so tell me in the comments what do you guys think of it and I'm hopefully Zach it really small forward and I'm hopefully and Zach I mean not not Zach Vinny yeah I should name him name the next character oh still he stole from LeBron he stole from LeBron are you kidding me Vinny Outlaw stole the ball from LeBron James. Let's take a look at that again. Watch this. I was pretty sure that was LeBron he just stole it from. Let's see. Watch. Yep, that was LeBron, all right. He stole the ball from the cover boy. He stole the ball from LeBron James. That could be a season highlight right there, ladies and gentlemen. And now he's back in at point guard guarding Mario Chalmers. Another alternate choice for the Lakers, even though they won today. Oh, gotta give Mar gotta give a 
Chalmers credit. He, he deked him out good there. Oh, there's a foul. So is this one of Vinny's best games? No. Not really. But well, well, you're, when you're playing one of the best teams in the league in the Miami Heat, and okay, how did he miss that? I mean, really, how can you miss that? Oh, let's see if he can get one to D Wade to commit a turnover. Nope. Ah. Well, at least he got LeBron. Oh, oh, oh! He almost stole it from him again. Oh. Nope. Well, at least Vinny's helping him up. <sighs> yeah, at this point, the Bucks are pretty much in trouble to making the playoffs. There's Delfino. And don't worry, guys, during the trivia show, I will talk about how I met Zach and everything, so... And also tonight, I thought it would be very appropriate to end tonight off with something special. Yeah, the, man, LeBron had five turnovers, jeez. Oh, kickball, really? Oh, it's on there, so it's on there, okay. Yeah, that's probably one of the dumb rules in the NFL. And uh, speaking of uh, that, I just gotta say, I don't know if you guys have been hearing the news of the NFL recently. But of course, since this affects me because I live in the LA, Los Angeles area. That apparently these Los Angeles Rams are getting, I mean, the St. Louis Rams are getting very close to possibly moving. And since they are one of the heavy favorites to move from St. Louis... I could possibly see that as a possibility. And let me just say, as much as I like the Rams, and I know a few people on uh, the Facebook, on Facebook are saying, start with an expansion team, start something new. But me personally, I say, no, screw the expansion. Would be nice, but I don't like the idea. Okay, and the uh, heat went. Alright guys, let's take a look at this, and we got six. Really. Now let's on to the press conference. And by the way, the playoff, uh, the uh, player of the game is LeBron James. Now for real, let's on to the press conference. That was a tough loss for you guys tonight. You kept it close, but just weren't able to get the job done. Is there anything that you think could have made a difference in the outcome? That's hard to say, man. We were playing okay, but we definitely weren't at our best. It's hard when you feel like you maybe did enough to win, and the score shows you kept it close, but the other team is the one celebrating. And it's easy to point back to a few key plays and wonder if they made the difference. But that could just as easily go the other way. And then we end up losing by 20. All I can say is it's just the way things go. Well, Vinny, and it turns out that wasn't the case here. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you're wondering why well, I was Vinny controlling the player, yeah, well, I was eating my chocolate pudding, and that happened. So, yeah, and oh, we're being followed by Chris Anderson. Awesome, but yeah, take a look at the next episode. The next episode is a back to back. It's a back-to-back. -back. It's a back-to-back. Let me see now. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show this off. So, you know, weak loss. Good job closing against the Lakers. Weak loss. And I'm like, this team's not going to go nowhere. Getting five assists. Oh, we got an assist challenge here tonight. Oh, by the way, let's take a look at the, play the standings, the playoff picture right now. There you see the Knicks are in the playoffs, we're in the playoffs, the Raptors on the outside looking in.
And at this point, it looks like we're going to be a lock-in against the Miami Heat. Alright, so let's play the next game, which is will be the Detroit Pistons as we head to Auburn Hills. Yeah, we're probably going to make the Eastern Conference playoffs despite having a losing record, which is hilarious. So without any further ado, let's get started, guys. And we have to get five assists here tonight, at least, to complete the social media challenge. And there you see the former point guard of the Detroit Pistons. I mean, the Milwaukee Bucks, Brandon Jennings. Here we go, guys. And here we go. We're at the Palace of Auburn Hills, home of a la Max Power in the NBA 2K12, which I'll have to get back to that. So here we go, back in the Christmas uniforms again. I know I got, I've got to stop making that joke. And he's taking on probably one of my, probably the guy I despised in 2004 in Chauncey Billis. He's finally in the game with 10 seconds left on the clock. Really? Why did you do that, coach? Really? And that is it. The score at the end of one. The score is tied at 29 apiece. OJ Mayo and the, and the Milwaukee Bucks are going to take on LeBron James in the Heat. Yeah, that's the... Let's see if he can... Yep, he's going to get more time on the... I'm going to keep him scoring. Keep Stucky. Oh. Score sheet for two minutes. That's gonna be difficult. And there's a gold tending. I want to get him. Am I a shooting guard? No. I'm, yeah, I'm shooting guard. Dang, have it. Well, shooting guard's still a guard position. And there's Vinny, and he gets his first basket of the game. Very nice. And here goes Vinny trying to get it in. Gonna has to give it back to Udo. Udo gives it back to Vinny. What? No. All right, I'll be back after that brief interruption. I'm back, and now it's time to talk about what I saw during the commercial during the break. I saw a video that Kyle Hershing posted saying, what did Zach mean to me? What meant to him? And let me just say this. Zach, like I said earlier, Zach, if it wasn't for Zach, I wouldn't have the, had, would not have the, uh, the Phoenix Wright trilogy, which the boxes are right there, but the games are in the other room. And Zach, was well, the kindest guy I know. I mean, I can admit this. I am not the most perfect guy. And the fact that you could get heart failure, heart failure at the age of 16? I'm sorry. But life sucks. Yeah, I agree with Apizzle90. Life sticking sucks. Life kind of sucks sometimes. But the fact is, Zach meant so much to me. He is probably one of the closest friends I've ever had on YouTube. Yeah, like I said, there will be a tribute video talking about how much he meant to me even more. And not only that, and oh geez, well, yeah, if we lose this, if the Bucks lose this game, the Wizards are probably going to win. If the Wizards win, we're going to be in the AC, which means we have to play Cleveland. 
Which that's not that's not good. Wait, I don't know if that's Cleveland or I don't think it's Cleveland. Indiana, I think. And there's the second shot made by Vinny. So, yeah, a bit of a slowdown for Vinny today. Speaking of. So, yeah, guys, I am going to consider something special to send him off today. Tomorrow, I expect not that many videos. Not that many videos. No, because I'll be working on my homework. I'll hopefully get it all done. And, yeah, no. what the? I came from a point guard to a shooting guard. Really? Oh, Brandon Knight's out there. Oh, former Pistons. Speak of the devil. I see, can Vinny do anything? Nope. Of course not. Right, Dick. And I just realized. And I just realized we have to get the assist count to five. Ay, ay, ay. Quit missing. Alright. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, man, nice move there. By Vinny, but in the end, a 30-point deficit. Oh, we got to finish strong. Yeah, knowing the coaching, they're probably going to tell Vinny to sit down. Yep, and that's exactly what happened. So there's, now there's no way we're going to get the social media challenge down. So yeah, not one of Vinny's best games. But let's not end up. Oh, of course. Go figure. Of course the referees are going to screw Vinny out of that. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. So, Mike, I can't wait to see your memoriam. Well, for one thing, there's no music with this one, unlike the Pirates of the Caribbean one. Unlike the Pirates of the Caribbean one that I did for my cousin, then, yeah, there's nothing unlike that one. And that's it. The Bucks are in trouble. They may be missing the playoffs at this point. So we got 90 points. We got 90 on that one. Alright, so we're going to take a quick... Okay, you know what? Actually, at the end of this episode, we will check it out. Alright, here we go. It's time to get ready for the press conference. Not a good game from your team tonight. Is there anything positive you can take from a game with a final score as lopsided as this one? Mm, I don't think so. And why would we want to? You lose a game by a lot and it's certainly not worth reflecting on. We know we're a better team than that. So I think we just need to file this away, move past it, and start focusing on the next game. It's one thing if you lose by a few points and make a few obvious mistakes, but tonight it was a lot more than that. No sense in getting into all that stuff in any depth unless a pattern starts to form. Yeah, and the fans are not happy about your performance, Vinny. After that recent hot streak in the last episode, 
Yeah, I don't think so. Alright guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode, which will have not one, but two key games. And by the way, let's take a look at this awful game. And the next episode, as we continue on here, yeah, I said I was going to cut, and the, the wizards, they're tied. Now, I don't know what is the tiebreaker here to determine this, but the Raptors are starting to catch up, so you're on the lookout. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.